Chris Kane, Thanksgiving night at the Nick Goonis Sports Arena. It's a night I've been waiting for since I stepped foot in the NWA. The X Division title is going to be on the line. The fans are going to be out in numbers to see me take that title and put it around my waist. And I can promise you one thing, Chris Kane, if you think you're going to walk out of that building with that title around your waist, to kill me first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWA Main Event. And Jason James still here, and Aiden Scott taking it to Chris Kane in the early going of this one. Iris whip off the ropes, and a huge back elbow sends him down and out. Folks, I got to tell you, I've had Harry here. I've had Lone Wolf here. I've had Cal Barton here. And I still can't find a, a suitable replacement for Tyler Clemens. And just, what, what are you doing out here? Let me tell you something, Jason James. I just crawled out of the ring. While I was in there beating Ricky Six, I heard you sit right here at this desk and talk about I was past my prime again and that Dominique should be champion, not me. Is that what I heard? Well, Jeff, you answer the question for me. Is that woman not involved in every single match you have here? Yes or no? Absolutely right she is. That's exactly why she's at ringside. That's why I'm as successful as I am. Just like Chris Kane in the ring right now. You see Aiden Scott flip-flopping and flying around, but before long, Chris Kane will gain control of this match, Jason James, because that's just the nature of the beast. Well, I think that young Aiden Scott is going to be the one to best represent the X Division, and I go, I'm going to go ahead and foreshadow that this Thursday night at Tennessee Homecoming 2008, Aiden Scott is going to be the one to re re rectify and and rejuvenate the X Division ranks and capture the X Division championship. Well, I absolutely think you're wrong, Jason James, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to that building early, and I'm going to lace my boots up, and I'm going to grab me a chair, and I'm going to ease out there, and I'm going to watch Chris Kane become the next NWA X Division champion because it... At the, at the big Thanksgiving show, Tennessee homecoming, <laughs> it's a night of champions. You got the Goulas Cup, you'll have an X Division champion, you'll have a new TV champion, I guarantee it, and I will walk out Mid-America champion. And on top of it all, my good friend, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, who we're going to hear some words from later. Oh, what a beautiful move. Chris Kane better kick it in gear here, or he may not be X Division champion. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Aiden Scott is not one to take lightly, as Chris Kane is, isn't either, and Aiden Scott chasing Kane. I just want to know one thing, Jeff. If, if you're such, you were the longest reigning NWA World Television Champion in the history of the National Wrestling that's Alliance. That's right. I even broke Tully Blanchard's record. I was the longest reigning champion. I retired the NWA Television Championship. And week after week after week, we see Dominique getting involved. And like I said, if you weren't past your prime, you could win a match on your own. I can win a match on my own, just like you'll see Thanksgiving night when I destroy Scott Hayes. Scott Hayes, <laughs> I hate your guts. And I know you got some footage from the fairgrounds that I want everybody in TV land to see. What did I tell you? What did I tell you about colossal Chris Kane as he takes over on Aiden Scott? That's a three count. Two at best, and colossal Chris Kane, as they call him. You know, they gave me the bill for this guy when Scott Barry was ring announcing earlier, and it said five foot three. I think they mistook that for three foot five. <laughs> You better watch what you're saying about Chris Kane because that man will stretch you to your ears, bleed Jason James. I'm telling you right now, I'm excited about the Thanksgiving show. Tennessee homecoming. I can't wait. I'm going to destroy Scott Hayes. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see a new X Division champion in uh, Chris Kane. And hopefully we'll see a new Mid-America heavyweight champion as well. No, it will not happen. Magnum Shane Smalls will be your new TV champion. I can almost guarantee it. And I will tell you, what I'm excited about, not the Goulas Cup, even though I could use that extra money. Oh, Chris Kane out of the way, and he's fired up on him. But my good friend, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, will get some revenge on Too Sexy Brian Christopher. Yeah, and if you don't know about that story, it was at the Lawler 35 show when Doug Gilbert became a coward and followed in your footsteps and turned on his tag team partner. No, no, no. What Doug Gilbert did is quit carrying that no good, good-for-nothing piece of trash Brian Christopher, Doug Gilbert is a star. 
Doug Gilbert, it comes from a long family, a long history of wrestling, legendary. His brother, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, was a big influence in my He'd career. He'd be ashamed right now. No, he wouldn't. He would be very proud of Doug because he hates Lawlers, too. Nonetheless, Too Sexy Brian Christopher will be there this Thursday, Tennessee homecoming, and I don't think he's coming to dance. He's not coming to dance. They don't call him Dangerous Doug Gilbert for nothing. He better watch out because Doug will end his career just like Chris Kane is fixing to take Aiden Scott out. I guarantee you right here. And I will tell you, I want that footage shown before this show is over, Jason. I want everybody to know what happened Tuesday night, how I destroyed Scott Hayes in a non-disqualification match from the Nick Dulles Sports Arena. Well, I was planning to, I, we were planning to show it now, but the producers put it on halt for some mysterious reason, and now I know why, so you could come out here and run your yap for 10 minutes. <laughs> you better watch it, Jason James, because before this is over, it might be you standing where Scott Hayes is right now. Well, anything to get you away from the Mid-America Heavyweight Championship. And Aiden Scott, as you see, coming back on Chris Kane. And what about that big high back body drop from young Aiden Scott? Chris Kane's just setting him up, Jason. Don't think that Kane oh, ain't look, playing possum. That's a maneuver you use all the time, begging off in the corner. It works, doesn't it? I'm still your champion, Jason James. If he's stupid enough to believe in it and go for it, just like Aiden Scott was then did why not? Well, did you see the rake to the eyes there from Chris Kane? Did you see that? A thrust through the throat? I'm sure you didn't. No, I absolutely. I saw it. Whatever it takes to win. And it dips here. Chris Kane able to kick out, but not by much. Of course he kicked out. He's not going to be beat. One more pin attempt, and one more time able to kick out. Aiden Scott really on fire in the latter part of this match, and one more crossbody roll up, but Wait a no. Minute. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. Wait just a minute. Whatever it takes to Wait, win, Jason he has James. Feet all over the ropes. What whatever do you mean, whatever? Whatever it takes to win. Thanksgiving night. X Division champion, Chris Kane. Mark my words. Folks, Aiden Scott's been robbed, but nonetheless, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thanksgiving night. NWA Mid American X Division championship title belt is on the line, and it's making its way to my. Wait! See, I've walked up to the top of the ladder, and I'm coming down on you, and I will put that belt around my waist, and you will be done, and you won't even be a part of that belt, punk. <laughs> 